Texas Borderlands Adventure Part 3. As the Mariscal Mine site is getting ever smaller in our rearview mirror, we push deeper into Big Bend National Park. Up ahead is the Johnson Ranch, where an airfield was set up to observe the border during the 1929 Escobar Rebellion. As the end of our trip nears, we settle in and enjoy the sounds of the tires on the two-track and watch as the terrain gets steeper and more craggy. Welcome to our adventure. Lunchtime. Lunch was a smorgasbord of Chica's chips, which are amazing, by the way. Green chili dip, various veggies, and flavored waters. We enjoyed the view, the food, and each other's company, but mostly the chips. afternoon shadows getting long, we arrived at Johnson Ranch. A walk was definitely in order, and I saw what appeared to be graves off in the distance toward the south. I didn't find any information on these graves, other than they predate the National Park. Go see what she found. Ruins over there, ruins to my left, ruins to my right. What a place, huh? I mean, the house is massive. Massive. Yeah. Elmo and Ada Johnson established Johnson's Ranch in 1927 as a trading post in one of the most remote areas of the United States, 
with the closest population center yeah. being Alpine, Texas, at 150 miles to the north. After a raid at the Johnson Ranch, the United States Army Air Corps established an air base on the ranch, which is very remote but strategically placed in the Big Bend. The airfield was completed in 1929. It consisted of three graded dirt runways, the longest of which was 4,200 feet. After leaving Johnson Ranch, we followed the twisting, turning, and undulating trail along the Rio Grande to Smuggler's Canyon. I know, cool name, huh? The trail narrowed and all but disappeared in spots, but we slowed down, yeah. took our time, and enjoyed the view. She kicked me out! She kicked me out. Oh, it's so pretty. That gap over there. That's Mexico. It's beautiful. Got a little pinstriping going on. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite the day. Whew. We uh, finally made it out. The highway's right there. Now it's time to air up. Somebody's doing yoga. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, good grief. Getting everything aired back up. Had a good trip. What'd you think? Tell the people. Uh, here's the sign. Help. Oh. That tire's full. and down and left and right and sometimes throw you throw you for a loop but no it was good to see a country across a river kind of mind-blowing yeah it's fun though I liked it yep yeah I want to I want to go overland over there yeah <laughs> all the way to the tip of South America oh yeah all the way to the Fuego yeah it's, it's different. This uh, we we typically go we typically go north when we go. So we just decided we didn't even know we were coming down here. We just Wednesday night we were like, hey, the four day weekend for me ended up having to take a couple of days off, but that's fine. Um, anything for a anything for a good trip. So yeah, it's good. It's been a really good trip. We're going to see if we can make it up to Terra Lingua tonight. Um, find maybe a place to camp up there. Got to sleep someplace. After airing up, we jumped on the highway and headed to Terra Lingua, Texas and the Starlight Theater for a hot meal. We ended our trip in an RV campground in Terra Lingua. Not exactly our preferred destination, but a hot shower made everything right in the end. Thank you for joining Liz and I on our adventure. We will see you on the next one.